Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I want to show you a signal strength decoder. This is a device that takes a signal strength input and decodes it to a corresponding output. So I input 12, and we get 12 as an output. Now, you've probably seen a couple of these before, and they've existed for quite some time, but I wanted to show you the one that I built because I think I did things a little bit differently than other people, and there's some cool design that goes into this. This one takes two ticks to decode the signal strength input. And I think that's pretty cool. The way I did that is by getting this one wide, not by using repeaters, but by staggering it. So let's start off by taking a look at how it works, and then we can look into the design that I used. All right, so how does this thing work? Well, if we take a look at the output that's on, we can see that the top input is on and the bottom input is off. That's the only situation in which the output is going to be on. But why is that? Well, we need the top input to be on so that we can power this torch and so that it doesn't power the output torch. We need the bottom input to be off so that this repeater does not get powered and so that it can't power our output torch. But how do we set up these two inputs? Well, if we come over to the input for the decoder, we can see that the top line goes straight across and it goes the full length of the signal strength. If we take a look at the bottom line, it moves over one before it starts going across. That means it's going to travel a distance one less than the full signal strength. And that sets up a situation where this guy is on, and this guy's off. And so we can decode our signal strength and get an output. So now that we've taken a look at how this thing works, let's take a look at the design that goes into making this one wide stackable, but still pretty fast. I've pulled out a slice of this decoder so that we can see how it stacks up. It's one wide stackable, but it's a special kind of one wide stackable because we're not relying on repeaters to get that stackability, right? So we've got wire in here to make it faster instead of using repeaters, which would add an extra tick or two. And it ends up doing the exact same thing, but faster. So that's pretty cool. And this is a concept that I'm probably gonna be playing with in terms of one wide stackable designs in the future. I mean, it's not going to be applicable to everything because sometimes wiring can get pretty tricky. This is a situation where the wiring is very simple in terms of the overall logic gate. So I can pull something off where we don't need the extra repeaters, but other times there's really nothing you can do. That's everything I wanted to show you today, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.